हेलो एवरीवन एंड वेलकम बैक टू आवर चैनल ट्रिपल एकेडमी इन दिस वीडियो वी विल लर्न हाउ टू इंक्लूड द कस्टम जेएस एंड द सीएसएस फाइल्स इनटू अ नोट विक टेम्पलेट्स इन अ ट्रिपल नोट विक टेम्पलेट्स आर अ की फीचर्स ऑफ अ ट्रिपल फॉर फ्रंट एंड डेवलपर्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल कवर हाउ टू इनकॉर्पोरेट जावास्क्रिप्ट एंड सीएसएस इनटू अ नोट विक टेम्पलेट्स in many scenarios we got the requirements like we need to include the particular js or the css on the particular page i will give one example suppose on one of your page if there is carousel and it is useless to include the carousel js and the css in the global styling because that will be applicable only for that particular page and that particular carousels so in that case we need to include the js and the css file on that particular page so first i will explain you what are note tweak templates note tweak templates are a type of templates used in drupal to render pages they are a tweak a popular templating engine tweak templates are easy to read and write making them popular with the developers I have one note tweak template for the content type employee underscore data. If I open any node from this content type employee data content type, it looks like this. On this page, I have printed first name, email, and the gender. So this output is coming from the this section. I have already created the one video tutorial on how to create the note template for the particular content type i will add that video link in the description or you can watch by clicking that video on this suggestion before moving ahead you need to create the custom theme i have already created the custom theme and also i have created the video tutorial on how to create the custom theme in this theme i have created the inside the template folder created this node Hyphen hyphen employee hyphen data dot html dot tweak. Now I will show you how to add the JS and the CSS for this particular node template. If you open the evolve dot info dot yaml file, we had already created this library global styling library, which will be get integrated on the all pages of the website. But now. we will create the another library which will be added into the particular node template for that go to the your theme name dot libraries dot yml file and create the another library so i will copy this will create the new library change it to the first library and inside the css folder I had already created the two CSS inside the first CSS. I have added the CSS to change the color of class name as a green. Means it will change the this Lorem Ipsum, which has the class as a name. It will change color to the green. And same way, I have created the another JS one file. First dot JS. It will alert. the message first when the page get loaded so now we will include this css and the js to this particular node tweak template so first we will change the this file name to the first.css same way we will include the js as the first.js now we have created this library now we will see how to include this library inside the node tweak template for that syntax is two time open curly braces then attach underscore library and your library name so we write the library name as theme name and the library name Our library name is first underscore library. First underscore library. Save this file. 
and clear the cache. Now go to the uh, page and refresh the page. It should change the, this color to the green and should show the one alert message. So here you can see we are getting the alert message from the our JS file and uh, this color is changed to the green. So this is the one of the way to how we can include the custom JS and CSS in a notebook template. There is another way, I will show you that as well. Uh, now we will create the another second library. We will copy this, just change the name to the second library. In the second.css file, I have changed the email color to the red and uh, Inside the second.js file, I will show the message in alert as a second. So now we will include these CSS and JS file in the new library. Change it to the second.css and second.js. Save this file. Go to our dot model file of your custom model. We had already created this hook preprocess underscore node. I have checked the if the node type is employee data, then I have passed one variable. Now I will attach the library as well. Dollar variables hash attach. Library empty square bracket equal to our library name so our library name is the second library and before that we need to mention the, our theme name evolve slash second underscore library semicolon and save the file now go to the, our browser and refresh the page now page should show the two alert message one is from the uh, this library first library where we have included the first.js and the first.css and second is from this second.js inside the second.js file we have added, added this alert message as a second now we will refresh this page So we got the first alert message from the first library and the second from the second and also the font color is changed from the second library. So that's it from this video. We have successfully added the custom JS and CSS files in a notebook templates using the two ways. One is by adding hook underscore preprocess underscore node hook and the second is by attaching library inside node tweak templates if you found this tutorial helpful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more drupal related content thank you for watching and see you in the next video